we were going to have services tonight. And uh, some people are out of town and even more out of town. So, on every holiday, we uh, usually shut down on Sunday night because, well, we go to church. Some of us go to church three times a week anyway. So, I don't like one service from her or any. Praise the Lord. Uh, if you know what I mean, just remember that. Also, I want to say, uh, I know Ann's already went to the back, so I want to say happy birthday for a while. Praise the Lord.
that he was willing to die for you. Praise the Lord. I'm glad to know that I've got an elder brother that's willing to die for me. I'm glad to know that I have a king that's willing to die for me. I'm glad to know that I've got a high priest that's going to die for heaven every day and night. Hallelujah. Church, I want to tell you today that you are valuable. I don't care what road you went down or what side road you get your own. You are valuable. I don't care what kind of mistake you made. You are valuable. Hallelujah. You are valuable to God. And this week, I want you to go and I want you to tell everybody, hallelujah, I want you to tell yourself how valuable you are. That Jesus came. Your elder brother, your Lord, your Savior, Thank you. 
chapter, in Acts chapter 6, no, in Acts chapter 7, in verse 54, the Bible says that when they heard these things, they were cut in the heart, and they gnashed on him with the teeth, with their teeth. But he, being filled, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly unto the heavens, and saw the glory of God, and Jesus standing on the right hand of God. I want you to understand that. I want you to understand that that's the only place in the Bible that you will ever hear somebody sing Jesus standing. On the right hand of God. Now we heard about him being on the right hand of God. We've heard that he's going to come on the right hand of power in the clouds. We've heard all these things, but now we got an eyewitness. His name is Stephen. The Bible says that Stephen was full of grace and power, and he was full of miracles. God used Stephen in a in a mighty way. Praise the Lord. Listen. 
to this. I can see Jesus standing on the right hand of the Father said, Come on, Stephen. We're almost there. Come on. Oh, church, if you ever come down to the line and you've got to feel martyr for Christ, hallelujah, just recognize Jesus root you on and said, Come on. Hallelujah. I got it all under control. Come on. I'm going to take care of you. You're so valuable. I'm not going to sit down in my seat, but I'm going to stand
to Damascus, to the synagogue, that if he found any of this way, whether they were men or women, he might bring them bound unto Jerusalem. But we find here, as he, as he journeyed, he came near Damascus. And suddenly there shone round about him a light from heaven. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul. Somebody say Saul. Saul, Saul. Saul why persecute thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. Don't you think you're talking to I'm in trouble. <laughs> I am Jesus, who thou persecute. It is, it is hard to kick against the bricks. And the Bible says, He trembling and astonished said, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? Hallelujah. This man said, What will you have me to do? And now he was trembling before the very God that he didn't think was real. Now he was talking face to face with Jesus. He said, the Bible says, he, the light shined around about him and he was face and he was talking to Jesus. And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city and it shall be told thee what thou must do. Listen to this. And the men which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice, the sin. It is a possibility to come to church and hear the voice, but never see the man. See, we got to get to the place that we understand that when the light shines around us, we got to look. I believe, I believe when that when that spirit of God knocks him off of his horse.
when Stephen was stoned, I don't know if I'm going to do this or not. I've been there several times. God said, I have chosen to In the very next chapter, He said, I have chosen to I have chosen to be in that same, in that same chapter. He said, I have chosen him. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in verse 15, it says, And the Lord said unto him, Go thou away, for he is a chosen vessel unto me. You see the value that humanity has to God? You see how valuable people are to God? God knew that Saul was going to end up being Paul. And Ananias went and prayed for Brother Saul. And the Bible says the scales fell off of his eyes. And Brother Saul went and he was preaching in the very name that he was persecuting people over. Praise the Lord. Did you know that Saul didn't really change his name? You know, Saul was his Roman name. But, but Paul was his Jewish Hebrew name. Right. Hallelujah. So he didn't really change his name. He just chose after he met the Hebrew God, after he had an encounter with the Hebrew God, and he knew that the Hebrew God was right. He chose to reject the Roman name and take a hold of his Hebrew roots, his Hebrew name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brother Paul became the greatest disciple in the Bible. Almost. He That's why God is chosen. That's why God is speaking to you today. 
you through this lesson and telling you that you are valuable. Don't you ever give up. Don't you ever let nobody make you give up. And understand this, and understand that the Lord loves you, knows who you are. Praise the Lord. You want to stand you please. You're here this morning. And if you're, if you're in this place, and you've been feeling like you're not valuable. You've been feeling like you're down and out. This altar is not only for the, for, the, for the sinner, but this altar is for the saints. This altar, where you found God, is where you're going to keep God. Right. And when you come to the altar and you give your heart to the Lord, you're going to, you're going to find God and you're going to keep God at the altar. Right. Some of the greatest encounters of my life has been at an altar somewhere. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You hear this morning. When they, they go start singing the song, if you're on the internet this morning, just know this. We love and appreciate you. We'll see you Wednesday night. We hope and pray you understand the value of your life. Praise the Lord.